Hi, hello, my name is Gomer Joseph. I hope you've all been having a great day so far. Welcome back to another True Crime Tuesdays video. If you are new, I welcome you. Today, I'll be discussing the tragic case of Lamar Smith. This case was extremely frustrating and downright disturbing. Lamar lost his life over fighting for the basic right that we should all have as Americans. What's worse was that the legal system refused to ensure that justice was served. Now I encourage you all to do your own research with this case and not just look at my video for all of the information. Here we go. Lamar Smith was born in 1892 and people had described him to be someone who was bold. He was someone who was fearless due to him being a World War I veteran. Lamar was someone who spoke what was on his mind. He was loved by his family. Lamar was well-to-do. He was a farmer and he had a dog training business. Later in life, he met and married a woman named Annie Clark. Lamar was involved in his family. He was also involved in his community. He was known to be a voting rights activist and member of the Regional Council of Negro Leadership. On August 13th of 1955, Lamar is 55 years old at this point, and this is in Brookhaven, Mississippi. He had voted in the primaries, and he was helping other Black Americans to vote before August 13th. On this day, he arrived at the local courthouse to help Black Americans fill out absentee ballots. And the reason why Black Americans, certain Black Americans, had to apply for absentee ballots, it was for their safety. It was to keep them safe from those who would harm them or try to harm them for simply doing what they had the right to do as Americans. While helping Black Americans to vote, Lamar was threatened and told to stop. But like I discussed, Lamar was a fearless man. He was bold enough to do the right thing and not allow these threats to stop him from helping Black Americans to vote. On the lawn of that courthouse, while you know Lamar was being bold and being brave, those who had tried to stop him succeeded by shooting Lamar Smith and taking his life. Now Lamar's life, again, this is, at, this is outside of the courthouse. And this was in broad daylight. So it's not like people just happened to not be there. And it's not like people just happened to not have seen or heard anything. From what I gathered, there were about 30 witnesses who saw this happen. And what's worse was that one of them was a sheriff who was named Robert E. Case. Again, that's not even the worst part. Uh, Sheriff Case, um, he saw this and he allowed the three suspects to flee the scene with blood all over their shirts. And actually, days later, the men, you know, who were responsible for taking Lamar's life were arrested. A month later, a grand jury that was filled with 20 white men, despite all of the people who witnessed Lamar's life being taken and unfortunately none of them came forward to testify. Either they just didn't care or they were terrified about speaking up. Despite their, you know, despite Lamar losing his life in broad daylight with so many people seeing this, the grand jury refused to indict the monsters who took Lamar's life. And that's really all I could gather about Lamar's case. Now, unfortunately, the monsters who took Lamar's life never faced justice, at least not in this lifetime. There were no accounts of them admitting to their wicked actions, and I doubt that they're still alive today. But if they did not repent of their sins and trust in Jesus Christ alone to save them, then I am 100% certain that God made sure that they would pay for what they did for all of eternity. And of course, we 
have come far as a people, Black Americans, you know, are allowed to vote in this country without the sort of violence and threats of violence. But this story is a reminder that it wasn't always like that. Most of all, it's a reminder that people literally lost their lives to ensure that we enjoy the freedoms that we have today. Let us never forget Lamar Smith and let's honor him by exercising our rights as Americans. I thank you all for taking the time here today to watch this video. If you did like this video, please feel free to hit the like button. If you have any thoughts on this case at all, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about the next video. If there is a certain true crime case that you would like me to cover, go ahead and let me know. I'll see you all for the next true crime Tuesdays and I will talk to y'all later.